I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but let's be real, a recession is coming. We've seen it, the big tech giants, Twitter, Facebook, laying off thousands of people. And if you don't wanna be affected, you need to tune in to this video, cause I'm gonna reveal three recession-proof tech roles for 2023. Hey Cyber Heroes, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm Boyd Clues, an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help people upgrade their jobs into a six-figure cybersecurity career. And I've also just been named member to the Forbes Technology Council. If you wanna join me on this journey, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to help you take your tech career to six figures and beyond. All right, guys, so it's time to talk about something that's really, really important to me. In the US economy right now, over the past year or so, we've experienced significant inflation. The cost of homes have risen, the cost of groceries have risen, gas prices have been ridiculous. And just as economists have predicted, we are moving toward a recession. When a recession comes, companies, businesses, trim the fat. So what that means is if you're not in a position of value, if the company feels like they can do business without you or your position, you will be eliminated. I hate to say it, it's just the way business works. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some strategy, very specific strategy that you can leverage in your career right now so that you can avoid being impacted by the recession that's gonna happen in 2023. All right, guys, so it's important that we get on the same level here. So let's baseline what the heck is even a recession. So a recession is a downturn in the economy, which means that there's less spending. If people are spending less money, that means businesses have less money. And when businesses have less money, that means they want to reduce spending. All right, so I'm going somewhere here. It's gonna make sense in just a minute. Generally speaking, a recession lasts about 18 months. And I don't wanna scare anybody, but I want you to be prepared for what could potentially happen in 2023. So the company parties, axed. Company bonuses, axed. Employees that don't drive money or save money, axed. So it's important that you realize that because you don't want to wind up on one of those lists. So if you think back to recently when the global pandemic happened, tons of companies started laying people off because they were afraid. Fear drives the economy. And so what you want to do to protect yourself, your family, and your career, you need to make sure that you're in optimal position to be safe when companies start to make these changes. Because we've already seen the big tech companies start to lay off people by the thousands. But what they're not telling you is the type of people that are not getting laid off. So this is exactly what I want to cover in this video so that I make sure that you guys can make the proper shifts so that you and your family are good. So let's continue. All right, guys, so you know me and I only talk about my experience and what's worked for me and definitely what hasn't worked so you can avoid that nonsense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about three recession-proof positions that you should definitely be looking into if you want to make sure that you are safe for this recession period, all right? First of all, before I go into the position, let me give you a little backstory, a little backstory real quick. During the pandemic of 2020, you had thousands, if not millions of people that lost their jobs. But at the same time, thousands of people were gaining access to high paying tech careers. So if you think about during the pandemic, everybody had to go home. They had to shelter in place. What were they doing when they were at home? They were shopping online. They were conducting meetings online. Everything went digitally. Therefore, the risk went up, the cyber risk. So companies had to increase their cybersecurity staff to account for the demand and the risk. It doesn't matter if there's a pandemic, a recession, people are not going to stop using credit cards. You know what, you probably just used one right now before you got on this video. Anyway, what you don't know about that is there is a regulation that is called PCI DSS, which is Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. And it applies to any company that stores, process, or transmits credit card data. So think about all the businesses, all the companies around the world, especially the bigger ones, that are accepting credit card payments. They have to validate compliance every single year and they have to maintain compliance every single day. 
and the risk and the implications of not being compliant are significant. You can fact check me. You can Google companies like Target, British Airways, Neiman Marcus. These companies had huge breaches that included personal identifiable information as well as credit card data. And because of this, they were fined millions and millions of dollars. So the way this regulation works is a company has to certify every year that they're compliant and provide that information over to their bank. In the event that they're actually breached, the bank performs an investigation. And if they determine that the company was not compliant at the time of the breach, then the fines come in. And we're talking about millions of dollars, not chump chains, millions. So you gotta think about this from a business standpoint. Does it make sense for a company to pay an individual cybersecurity professional six figures to help them offset the risk of losing millions every year? I'll let you think about it. Of course it does, right? So this is exactly what I built my career on. So there's three roles that you need to look at. Number one, an ISA, which is an internal security assessor. This person helps the company that they're working with implement the policies, the procedures, the configurations, and to make sure that they are compliant with the PCI DSS. So this person needs to understand the standard and be able to clearly articulate what each individual person needs to do in order for that company to maintain compliance, as well as gather and maintain evidence to actually show that they're compliant. In these positions, you can get access to them and they pay six figures and beyond without a college degree or without any certifications. All you have to do is understand the PCI DSS standard. So number two, you can actually be an external assessor, which is called a QSA. This is a qualified security assessor. A qualified security assessor is actually certified by the PCI council to perform security assessments on companies that store, process, or transmit credit card data. So the QSA would perform a security assessment on the company every single year so they validate compliance because the certification process is only good for 12 months for each company. So you gotta think about it. This isn't an assessment or a project that a company can do one time, be done with, and fire you. No, they have to maintain compliance every day and validate compliance every year. Being a PCI QSA, those salaries generally range from base salaries of 140,000 to 200,000 plus bonuses and commission and the opportunity to travel the world. When I was a QSA, I had a base salary of $180,000 plus bonuses. So I netted over 200,000 every year as a QSA. Well, the third thing is a security consultant. So what you have to understand is every company doesn't have an ISA or they don't have individuals at the company that understands the security standard and can actually help them implement the controls to maintain compliance with the PCI DSS standard. And so you could either start your own consulting business or work for a consulting firm and become a PCI consultant where you travel and help different companies implement the policies, procedures, configuration changes, give your expert opinion so that they can become PCI compliant. Because regardless of what goes on in the economy, regardless of what goes on in the world, people are going to use credit card payments. And since people are going to use credit cards and accept credit card payments, they have to comply with the standard. So here's the challenge. The challenge is most people are focused on getting certifications like CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, instead of focusing on security frameworks like PCI DSS or the NIST standard that companies have to abide by depending on their industry, which means that you have job security. Getting a certification and going to work on the help desk is not going to help you beat this recession. It's not. Because you gotta think about it like this. If your job can be outsourced in a recession, it will be outsourced. So tech support, help desk work, those things can be outsourced to people in other countries that will do those 
those jobs for a fraction of what they're paying you. And you might think my company loves me and they'll keep me around, but the business is out to protect the business. And I'm sorry, it just makes sense. So if I have 10 help desk support people that I'm paying 40,000 each, that's $400,000. Well, I could outsource those same 10 roles to a different company and maybe pay 50 or $60,000 in a year. Why would the company not do that? This is what I want you guys to do. Go on linkedin.com, go to dice.com, go to Indeed and use the keyword PCI. Look for the specific job skills that they're looking for. You need to be analytical. You need to be able to pay attention to detail. You need to have some light audit experience. If you don't have these things, you can acquire them online very simply. You can go to the PCI Security Standards website, download the PCI DSS, the current version is 4.0. Companies are now making this transition into PCI DSS 4.0 and they need help. They need people like you to help join the team to help them maintain compliance so they offset the risk of losing millions of dollars to fines and penalties. Being in a position where your job can't be eliminated because you're needed is the only way that I recommend with surviving not only the recession, but to future proof your career so that you're not replaced by robots or AI. When you follow the process and you understand the framework, you realize that certain requirements are written that requires an observation from the PCI professional. And since it requires an observation, that means it can't be done through software. You can't outsource this. They need you. So take your career in your own hands. Make sure that your family is safe. So future proof your career and move into payment security. Hey, Cyber Heroes, were you aware of these three roles in payment security? Were you aware of payment security in general? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you're notified whenever I drop new videos guaranteed to help you take your career to six figures and beyond in tech. And if you're also looking for a way to learn the skills to become a payment security specialist, I invite you to apply to the Baxter Lewis Training Academy. You can click the link in the description or head right over to www www.boydclewis.com forward slash GRC. Check out our case studies of how we've helped over 500 professionals upgrade their jobs into a six-figure cybersecurity career using our Cybersecurity Assurance Specialist Program. Apply to join the program and my team will follow up with you quickly. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.